go find some. Just make this space look. Will you finish this by tomorrow? We need it ASAP. That is way. I want. I want. I need people. I don't like that. Don't. I really don't like that. Let's start. Hi, my name is Aida Ziari. I worked as an interior designer for over 10 years. Architects, engineers, tradespeople, interior decorators all fulfill different roles in this industry. The purpose of this video is to identify the scope of interior designers' work and explain the details of the knowledge needed and the work involved. Documentation must be prepared, specifying the details on all aspects such as elevation, ceiling, electrical plant, finishes, etc. to make clear the needs uh, before the construction commences. Safety is one of the most important things to consider when it comes to design. Study and knowledge of building code, fire safety, demising wall, fire rating, exit requirement are all needed. Ultimately, offices, restaurants, bars, all need to be safe. Interior designer must have detailed knowledge of all these requirements for people's safety. Space planning and universal design are very important too. An interior designer must consider so many details, such as size of the hallway, washrooms, emergency lighting, occupancy load, and a lot more. In general, accessibility and functionality of the space is critical when creating and designing a project. The selection of interior material that is morally and cosmetically pleasant, but also durable and practical is very important. When interior designers choose material, they consider very important factors such as the slip resistance of the floor, wall finishes that needs to be fire rated, air quality and VOC of the material, and they make sure they meet the health regulation and the codes. Now as society is adapting to climate change, green design becoming a focus. When interior designers planning a project, they must consider a lot of things such as indoor air quality, bringing natural light to the space, using more natural material, uh, reducing water consumption, reducing noise levels. In other words, they should work on a design that leads to a greener tomorrow. Earlier on, I mentioned architects and interior decorators who are playing an important part in the home construction industry. And I would like to take a few moments to explain the differences between the role. An interior decorator can furnish and decorate the space, but they're not eligible like an interior designer to provide detail of space planning, construction drawing, and other tasks outlined in this video. Interior designers too have limitation to their eligibility in certain situations. Any project that is more than three floors and each floor is larger than 6,458 square feet or 600 square meter requires architectural skills. In those situations, an architect required to be involved and usually they work with an interior designer in such a project. This is the perfect career for anyone who has keen sense of design, visualization skills, and the ability to create and imagine the space. All in all, an interior designer aims to create magical results. Thank you for watching this video. Leave me a comment if you want to know more about interior design career and what they do on a daily basis. And subscribe if you haven't done that already. Bye for now.